Mineta spiller de unge der spiller de sig i baggrunden. Nej. No, okay. okay. Hello and welcome to Average Emphasis Beer Reviewing. I'm Omenator and this is my co-host Pain Tree. And we're probably overdoing it tonight, but hey, we this is the fourth beer we're doing tonight. And we just uh, put a bottom for this beer, uh, a whopping uh, 7.9 percent, which is not actually whopping, mm. but quite high still. With uh, with a cup of noodles and a microwave cheeseburger. <laughs> I still, it, it it tastes of desperation and sadness. Now, even though it's only 7.9% or only, um, I have a feeling it's gonna be the very incarnation of death. No, okay, okay, forget that. Sorry, I thought it was gonna be pitch black. Apparently I was wrong. It is a nice, nice color. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah, right. My hands were not responding right there. My hands are unresponsive. Okay, it actually looks a lot more drinkable than I thought it was gonna look. Mm. And the color is nice. It's not as nice as that one, um, what was the, was the first one we did today? The this is a bad really sign. Uh, oh, oh yeah, Willemos. Oh yeah, yeah, it looks a bit like that one, just not as beautiful, basically. It's a little more, it's a little lighter, a little thinner than that one. Although it still looks quite nice, a good amber color. And I like the smell. Oh yeah, I, I enjoy that too. That's, it's, it has a lot of sweetness, for, like licorice sweetness. Mm. It doesn't have the tobacco note that the Vilemos had. Absolutely not. No, no, it's very, yeah. And that's not a good or a bad thing, because um, it, that, can, it can be a good and it can be a bad thing, you know. Because that tobacco note the Vilemos had was a part of his charm. In I, six seconds, it is 10 p.m. Boom! 10 p.m. There you go. Yeah, okay. And we have school tomorrow. Well, fuck. <laughs> All right. Mm. It handles its alcohol volume pretty well. Yeah, I agree. Although the after the aftertaste, mm. so to speak, there's the, a burn. The, yeah, there is. There's a lot of. Uh, there is the alcohol does punch through there and kind of mm. it seeps through the the, mm. the taste and infects everything. But not in a particularly bad way. It's not so pronounced. That it ruins the beer, mm. but it, I think it's a shame. They should have gone with less alcohol. Mm. And yes, it has a lot of that, a lot of that sweet licorice. Mm. Not as sweet as the Vilemos, though. No, but in a very different way. Mm. It's a, I, a lot of licorice stuff mm. going on there. It's it's kind of sweet in the natural sugar way, not in the sweetened way. Yes, yeah, it, yeah. It's it's nice and caramelly sweet, not like um. Not like artificial sweetening sweet. Ugh, blah. Yeah. Like the stuff mm, Anna drinks. Okay. Um, should we do an um, introduction for the uh, international viewers out there? <coughs> Sorry, what? What was that? Should we do an uh, introduction for the international viewers out there? I'll try to keep it as, to as few words as possible. Cult Mokai. I think it was elderberry flower flavored. It is a drink drunk by uh, poofs and uh, club kids, and it is AIDS. But you see, there are other things that are dr dr drunk. Drunk? Drunk? Yes. Other things that are drunk. Sounds weird. You are drunk. <laughs> I'm only tipsy. Right. <laughs> there, there are other drinks that are drunk by uh, the same types of kids, but this one is specific. It's probably the worst of them. It, no, it is definitely the worst of them because it, it is the one that is about three times as sweet as any of the other ones combined. And they are sweet as hell already. So you know it's bad. For oh, the God. international audience, uh, even Smirnoff Ice has lost a lot of its stigma over here. A lot. Uh, it's, I mean, nowadays it's acceptable to drink. Then there's Bacardi Breezer, which is still kind of, uh, I mean, little the, fi the little finger. Uh, the little finger kind of uh, moves around there, but it's not uh, very... I, imagine a group of people in a club that goes like... <laughs> then, there, then there's Cult Shaker, which kind of lost a lot of stigma when people started hating Sidney Lee. I do not know of that episode, but I, do, I know about Sidney Lee and I know about Cult Shaker. I don't know of their connection, but I can guess. So you don't need to, you don't need to tell the story, you know? <laughs> Still, it's, it's funny. Signature right. drink and uh, both as wanky, both equally wanky. Oh yeah, Sydney. Oh jeez. 
Um, Google it at uh, Google it at your own risk. <laughs> right now the beer here, the color is very deceiving. Mm. It does not taste the way it looks. I, it really doesn't. Mm. It's it's sweet and it's solid and it's uh, and it has a bit of sting. So it's it alcohol has, sting. Yeah. It's not very dark, uh, contrary to what you might think. Uh, but it does have that licorice, which gives it kind of yeah that sweet dark that dark mm. kind of sweet uh, flavor. Not the kind not the kind of shovel full of gravel. Like I mean, not the brew dog kind of chewing the tarmac. That's gonna stick with us for the rest of our day. <laughs> That's a very good mental image, lying face down on <laughs> on the runway. Kind of, um, fresh sun warm tarmac, uh, kind of soft from the rays of the sun. <laughs> Equals drinking brew dog. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm. Mm. Right. Now, considering the alcohol percentage, what would you rate this beer? Any ideas? Seventy-nine. That's a, pretty good. With a tasteful nod to the alcohol percentage. Yeah, of course. It is. It is quite high. That's seven point nine percent in a beer that could probably fool me to to thinking it was like what six. Hmm. Something like that, maybe even less actually. No, no, six. Yeah. If if it's if it said on the bottle it was six percent alcohol and it tasted this way, I would it's believe it. it. It it's, it's believable. So yeah, if you want to get scorched, go get one of these. I think at least right. I think if you're a lightweight, then one of the uh, one bottle would do you. Oh yeah. Uh, if you're a light, if you're a lightweight, uh, uh, if yeah. you're a lightweight like Ominator, so featherweight. 54 kilos. I'm, I'm a meter and 80 high. I clock in at <laughs> I clock in at uh, 67 kilos, and I have an aggressive metabolism, so I'm a uh, high end of medium weight. But having an aggressive metabolism actually gets you drunk quicker. I have a very aggressive I get, um, metabolism. That means joke. I, you know, for me, it means I get drunk very fast, and then I get sober quite, uh, quite, okay, okay, quite yeah, fast. Okay, yeah, then too. then we're on the same track here. Mm. So yeah. So not only do I only weigh 54 kilos, even though I'm a meter and 80 centimeters tall, which is like, is that above average? I uh, know that's pr one or two centimeters above average. Yeah, just very very slightly above average. I feel taller than most of my mm. friends, but in reality, it's just right around. Average. I think I might be two centimeters taller than you. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, 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 about two. Right. So if I weigh 54 kilos and I have an uber fast metabolism. You started using the word uber. You're definitely drunk. You just jumped back five years in uh, internet time. <laughs> It's so true. You know, Uber used to be part of my arsenal of describing. You sound like uh, you sound like someone from the Neo Seeker forums. And, oh yeah, um, I do not know what that is, and I don't think I. No, want yeah, to. I, I kind of have to uh, insert a tasteful nod to people uh, out there because um, it's a long. Uh, that was basically the start of my uh, internet existence. So. Uh, Deathwind, Ranger One, Ghost Member, and Juki, if you're out there, uh, I'm um, uh, I'm FEF. There's a bunch of inside stuff going on here. Yeah, I can't even partake in. Ages, ages, ages ago. Ages ago. Oh yeah, ages, ages, ages. Ago. Okay. Ages. That sounds. You can put jizz in a lot of words, like um, me and Kanavich when we joke around about sausages. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jizz on the. What has been heard cannot be unheard. We're going to talk about jizz on the sausage. <laughs> yeah, that's not even where sausage jizz originated. I think jizz on the sausage originated from sausages. <laughs> so sausages is like the ancient something jizz for us. You can put jizz in a lot of words. It's kind of like the sacred syllable. Jizz. Jizz. We've it's, got. It's so wrong in so many ways. It's kind of like foo. We have got to keep the foo counters clicking. Foo mani padme hum. Another one of those inside things I just don't get. He's amazing, isn't he? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I think it's just because I'm out there. I think it's just because you're way in somewhere where no one else is. That's really. As long as the food counters keep turning, we're fine. <laughs> All right. So you gave it. You gave it what? Seventy-nine. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now I need to get my rating. 
Why am I always the last one to give a rating? Because you're less aggressive? Yeah, I don't think too much about ratings, actually. And well, in the wheat beer, you were too angry to give a rating. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that. That is. Yeah, we never reviewed that wheat it's, beer. It's off limits. You don't talk about it. It's still out there somewhere. <laughs> All right. Um, out in the piss corner. <laughs> At least close to it, close enough. I'm probably gonna go take a piss on it someday. <laughs> someday, as in, as in it will stay there for several days, mm. right? Yeah, sure, right. Uh, <laughs> Until it decays. <laughs> That's gonna be like thousands of years. What do you think was my point? You ruined the joke, smartass. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I get aggressive when I'm drunk. Or snarky. I'm gonna give this beer a, a solid 70. Beer dripped on my delicious Liebke. Again, my ceiling is dripping. I uh, know. Um, I spilled. Uh, I spilled beer on my chest. His glass is also dripping. <laughs> no, just don't do that. No, that's. Hush, hush. Just gonna drink my beer and be happy, right? I gave it a seventy. Um, Taste-wise, it's a little lower for me. I'm. I'm not such a big contender of this mix of of licorice sweet and and like um dark beer mm, but the alcohol wham the alcohol slams you and it still manages to taste quite good it's it's quite drinkable so um yeah 7.9 percent alcohol brings it to a 70 for me a very solid 70 i like this beer and uh i'd probably buy it again i, I probably would someday because it's very it's a unique type of beer mm. uh, I've, I've never tasted anything quite like it so yeah i, I like it mm. And if I want to get scorched, this is probably one of my uh, best bets. Yeah, that's what, that's one of the best things you can go with, probably. A sweet, dark, scorching beer. It doesn't even taste like it's gonna scorch you. So, yeesh. I feel um, I kind of have the feeling that um, I'm gonna lose all feeling in my legs as soon as I stand up. Good luck. <laughs> that's all I can say. Stomach burn. Alcohol. Um, Jewishness, heartburn. It goes in the. <laughs> I think I'm the only. I think I'm the only one, only uh, only person I've ever seen who complains about heartburn outside of my own family. Uh, only Danish person. That's a, that's okay. something that kind of comes with the genes, kind of. <clears throat> it comes with the territory of eating a lot of onions. <laughs> what? What? I eat a lot of onions. <laughs> I know, it, out of context, it's just... What? Yeah. It comes with eating a lot of onions. Like, that's supposed to logically make sense. Well, well, I, th I think if you're it, Jewish, it, it explains everything. It probably does make logical sense, but I just... I can't connect the dots. <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, thank you for watching. This was Average Emphasis Beer Reviewing. I am Omanator, and this is my co-host... Paintree. Signing off. Goodbye. Bye.